All right, guys, this is Mithril back with another Fallout New Vegas unique item guide video. And today I'm outside the Nellis Air Force Base because the weapon we're looking at comes from here. And that weapon is... Thump Thump. So basically you get this weapon from doing the Ant Misbehaving Quest. I will have a card at the top right showing you how to get it better. So make sure to click on that. Let's see, okay. Is it me, or does it feel like the grenades go further? Hmm. And then this weapon does have a different skin, which is nice. Right here on the stock, there's a beaver with a gun. It looks like a hunting rifle. And then it says a thump thump. And then it's got an arrow pointing to the end of the barrel. And then that's pretty much it. Okay, so let me try and get a good angle here. Something like this, I think. Okay. So let me read off the stats for you guys. So you need a explosive skill of 25, a strength of three. Its damage per attack is two plus 100 explosive damage. Its damage per projectile is two plus 100 explosive damage. Its DPS is 284.1, its DPS on reload is 43.2, its critical damage is 1, and its crit multiplier is times 1. Its attacks per second is 2.8, and to use this weapon in bats, it's going to cost you 35 AP. It shoots 1 projectile, and its spread is 0.8. The ammo this weapon uses is the 40mm grenade. It is 1 ammo per shot, it is 1 shot to reload, and then it is a 1 ammo capacity. Its reload time is 2 seconds. It weighs 5.5 pounds, and its value is 800, and then its HP is 125. And the perks that affect this weapon are Demolition Expert, Lord Death, Bloody Mess, Brunt, Thought You Died, Fast Shot, and Rapid Reload. So now this weapon does have the same damage as the Red Victory, and then the Mercenary Grenade Rifle. However, it gets more damage from the Grunt perk, which the other two are not uh, affected by because those come from DLCs. And for some reason, DLCs don't mix well together. I don't know. All right, so Demolition Expert, you get this at level 6 as long as you have 50 in explosives. And at rank 3, it gives you plus 60% damage with explosives. Lord Death, at rank 3, gives you an extra 4% damage to all enemies. Bloody Mess, gives you plus 5% damage to all weapons and enemies can explode upon death. Grunt, you get this from the Honest Hearts DLC. And you can get it at level 8 as long as you have 45 in guns and 20 in explosives. And it gives you 25% more damage with 9mm and 45 auto pistols and SMGs, service rifles and assault and marksman carbines, light machine guns, frag grenades, grenade rifles and launchers, and combat knives. Thought you died, you can get this from the Lonesome Road DLC. And it gives you plus 10% damage, plus 10 HP for her and karma points, your karma is reset to neutral, and then you are immune to critical hits. Fast Shot, its benefits are your fire rate increases by 20%, and then your AP costs are decreased by 20% for all firearms with energy weapons and guns. However, you get a penalty of your weapon spread increasing by 20%, and then your VAT's accuracy decreases by 20% for all energy weapons and guns. And finally, Rapid Reload, you can get this at level 2 as long as you have 30 in guns and 5 agility, and it gives you 25% faster reload. Okay, so let us go use this weapon out on some bad guys all right so i'm here at quarry junction and now i do have demigod mode on if you guys do not know what demigod mode is basically i am invincible however i still use ammo and have to reload all my skills are at 100 all my special stats are at 10 and then this weapon does have a couple different types of ammo as you guys can see here we will be testing all of these out on the legendary death claw except for the pulse grenades because they suck at on like living things and but yeah so we're going to be using the normal 40 millimeter grenades on all the death claws here all right that took three mainly because i missed one Let me try and get a direct impact. Okay, that went right between his legs.
Okay, I like it because it crippled the legs in one shot. That is very nice, especially on death claws. Because when you cripple their legs, they become basically harmless. Unless you're fighting the alpha male, mother, or legendary death claw. Because their uh, speed is greater than death claws. So even if you do cripple their legs, they can still like chase you down. If that makes sense. Come on, days of noob tubing. Maybe if he didn't run. All right, so basically, as you guys can see, it's about three shots for regular death claws. There's the male. Hmm, I think I'm going to quickly. That way we can see. One, two, all right, it's going to be four, no problem. Where the heck did you come from? All right, and then there's the mother right there. What? That didn't hit her? Oh, it must have hit the crane thing. Alright, four, but she probably could have died in three. So let me spawn in... The legendary death bot, and he spawns behind me. That took five. All right, now we are using incendiary. Six, and then I think he's going to die yeah, from the damage over time. Okay, weird. It feels like the incendiary version of the grenade does not go as far as the regular version. Let me just test that out. So I'm going to stand here. I'm going to shoot right here. Yeah, see that? Look how much further the regular grenade goes. Okay, I thought so. Now this is the plasma, uh, plasma, the plasma version. Four shots. And then I will just show off that pulse grenades basically do nothing. Yeah, I'm barely doing any damage. So let me just do a quick kill all. And then we can test it out on robots. And there are robots here at the crashed vertebrate. Yeah, so you basically one shot the Mr. Gutsies, and then it takes a couple shots for the sentry bots. So yeah, pulse grenades go on robots and not on living things. So you guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video on Thump Thump, make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe, because it will help out my channel, and I will appreciate it like always. And then I hope to see you guys next time.